So the ventral side of the heart, the side that faces out of the chest, and we have the coronary artery running down one side of the heart. Here we have the apex of the heart at the very bottom, or inferior. Right here we have the, the right atrium with an auricle hanging off of it. Our right atrium connects here, if I were to stick my finger in here, with the superior and inferior vena cava. So superior and inferior vena cava coming into the right atrium. We then, on the top of the heart, if we were to open this heart up, we can see the right ventricle and excuse me, the right ventricle and left ventricle down here. We have the chordae tendinae and we have the bicuspid valve dividing the left atrium and left ventricle. Now if we move to the top of the heart, the aorta and the brachiocephalic come off of the very top here. So again, if we were to orient ourselves, here's our superior vena cava, here's our, our aorta and brachiocephalic. And if I were to stick my finger down in here, the aorta goes all the way down into the left ventricle. Okay. Now here we have the left atrium, and coming into the left atrium, I can actually move my finger in here. This left atrium is going to, uh, this right here is going to be one of our pulmonary veins. We have additional pulmonary veins here. And the pulmonary artery leading away from the, uh, from the right ventricle is this tube-like structure on the front. So here's our pulmonary artery. Here is our superior vena cava, here's our aorta, here's our brachiocephalic, and here are our pulmonary veins uh, coming back in from the lungs right here. Okay, and that's all.